In this video, we start creating some example project for demonstration purposes. Let's create project, project name, enter project names, change screen dimensions, and write some description for our project ventilation system, and save this project in so in project file. First, we have to create we we rename our screen and create some server. In our case, we use Modbus server with Modbus simulator. In our case, name it to PLC and click OK. And let's create tags. We create tags for some objects, and objects will be placed in some groups, name like our places. In our example, it will be first floor, for example, and second floor and basement. Now let's create some devices for our, in our project. We use subgroups to name devices. First we have to create M01, it's for motor device name. And let's create tag that that bind to the parameters of this device. We name it like subgroup and state, for example. We use subgroup keyword because we use the same text for all the devices and it's named bind to the subgroup name. And you, you see M101 state. Let's create other property. It's also begin with the subgroup name. It's flow data type choose and name it speed and bind to the tag. And let, let's create other parameter for our the motor one. It, for example, will be mod. We use this parameter for choosing a manual or after mode. Let's bind to the tag. It will be binary register. And let's create one other parameter and name it alarm. Let's bind it to the PLC register. It also will be binary type, data type. And let's create one other tag. Name it command. It's for common purposes parameter. Let's bind to the tag. And OK. We have to change our alarm and common tag to boolean data type because it's boolean. Motor is already boolean. We don't change it. And now we have to set up alarms for our alarm tag. Let's get to the alarms tab and enter messages. We enter messages depending on the name of the tag. For this we use name keyword. And set up low low alarm message and set up priority 500 because we don't want alarm dialog box will appear. Alarm dialog box will be appeared only when we set up notification priority greater than priority of the tag. Let's set up other alarm for other tag for, for the tag speed. We use the same keyword name and use keyword value to demonstrate current value of this tag. And use priority for the alarm high, high and low, low 50, and for the normal message 10, 900. And use enable history to collect history information for the stack in database. Let's create new device for our project Valve, name it V01, and let's create some text for this object, for this device. For example, we want to know to get state open or open this 
val for no and let's create some alarms for this tag set up priority 500 because we don't get dialog box messages let's create other tag for this object and name it close bind to the register and let's create alarms for this tag and change some messages in other tag let's create other parameter and name it value it demonstrate st value state of the valve bind to the tag and let's create new device for our project evaluate the sensor name it f01 and let's create some parameters for this parameter for this device for example sensor available and parameter for detection mode of the sensor now we can copy all the uh, these objects for all the, our locations for second floor and we can just change name of the subgroup and name of the text are changed because we bind these names to the name of the subgroup let's just change register for these new objects and you can do it only manually for Modbus register but if you want if you use some other servers like RPC UA it's possible to bind name of the text to the name of the nodes that you bind to the RPC UA server but in our case we make it manually we simplify this only by changing subgroup names and in this case name of the text I change also but Modbus register we have to change manually okay we create objects for all our locations first floor second floor and basement now we can test our project by bind some tags in our case we bind for example speed of the first floor change it on the id and let's check it in tesla scudder to runtime open this project in runtime it's problem ah we don't can we can't connect to the our simulator let's turn it on and let's check it again now simulator is, is on change value of register and value is changed on our tesla scatter runtime change on the alarm value and alarm messages appeared let's change alarm messages because it's two speed names in the alarm message and for all our speed parameters in all locations okay and for basement also it's it's a change okay now also change screen dimensions because we want to uh, our screen take the whole screen of our monitor of our display open project tesla scada on time and let's check again message is appeared let's change and you can see it works thank you for watching